Okay, so in this video, we will be introducing the root test, and as we're about to see, the root test is very similar to the ratio test. Just as the ratio test, the root test has three parts. So here's the first part. So if the limit is n tends to infinity of the nth root of a n in absolute value is strictly bigger than 1, then the series of a n, n going from 1 to infinity, diverges. Of course, the series could begin at n equals 5, n equals 0, n equals 17. That's irrelevant. Part b, if the same limit of the nth root of a n in absolute value is now strictly less than 1, then the corresponding series converges absolutely. And the third case, of course, if the limit is equal to 1, then just as in the ratio test, the root test fails as well. So in this case, the series may converge or diverge. The test returns no information. A natural question to ask, of course, is when should one use the root test? And the answer is, what we hope to happen is that the nth root of a n is a fairly simple expression, so we can then evaluate its limit without too much difficulty. And so, if you see a term in a n that is raised to the nth power, such as an exponential function, 2 to the n, negative 5 to the n, and so forth, a good bet may be to use the root test. Same thing if you have a term such as n to the n. The root test may be applicable. One thing that is for sure, if you see an n factorial, do not use the root test. You should, of course, instead use the ratio test. And one limit that will crop up quite often in the root test is the following. We have derived this limit in the past, but let's just remind ourselves of what the result is so that now, if it crops up in the root test, we won't have to rederive the answer, we'll simply be able to quote it. This is a, an important fact. If you look at the limit, as n tends to infinity of n to the 1 over n, so the nth root of n as n tends to infinity, this is not a trivial limit. If we look at our case, as n tends to infinity, our base tends to infinity, but the exponent 1 over n tends to 0. And as we have seen many times in the past, an infinity to the zero case may yield any possible answer. As we have the base pushing the expression towards infinity, but the exponent being zero pushing the expression towards one. But if you recall here, you can figure this limit out by taking the lot of the limit, and then you can use L'Hopital's rule, and you will find that the result is zero. And if the lot of something is zero, well, the expression must be equal to one. So if you ever use the root test from now on, and within the given limit, you have the nth root of n as n tends to infinity, you can simply quote that the result is 1. You won't have to rederive this limit every time it crops up in the root test. And that's it.